Keeping up with growth gets harder as we speak, especially for your fire and emergency responders. While the population booms, some life-saving resources dwindle. New at 6 News Channel 5's Matthew Torres explains what changes one mid-state chief would like to see in the future. It's quiet now, but when growth is the name of the game, a quiet Rutherford County may soon be a thing of the past. It's an energetic environment. It's constantly changing. There's nothing quiet about what Matthew Lupo does. We'll get our pants set out ready. As a full-time county firefighter, his job... It makes loud noises to let you know. ...can be non-stop. <laughs> There's a lot of times that these guys are running 17 to 18 calls in a 24-hour shift, so they're constantly on the road. Chief Larry Farley says it can wear his crews down. There are only two full-time fire stations and five volunteer fire departments serving a growing county. We've gone from about uh, about 182,000 uh, in 10 years to where we're at right at now about 330,000. Here's a reflection of the county's growth. Back in 2010, the fire department received 1,300 calls. Now, this year, they're reaching 6,000 calls. While that number is going up, the amount of volunteer firefighters are down. It would be great if we could uh, recruit a lot of volunteers that would be active. You know, a lot of times the husband and wife both have to work and kids, you know, activities and stuff. So it makes it kind of tough to hang on to people. Most times if a volunteer fire department gets a call, full time employees would still have to respond. The chief says it's now time to think of adding at least two more full time stations. With four full time stations, I believe we could be respond anywhere in the county within eight, seven, eight minutes. On the other hand, the more people that move in is a good thing. What supports the firefighters is the county's sales tax. It may be slow, we might not catch much. There may be some downtimes now, but many say as the county grows, so should public safety. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. Chief Farley says on average, the department receives $3.8 million a year. The next budget meeting is early next year. To find out how you can become a volunteer firefighter, visit newschannel5.com.